Oh, too much cuteness in one place. Wow, Bob and Bella, we absolutely love them. Well, our cook along is coming along in just a few minutes. I'm so excited. I hope that you are excited as well. But before we do that, let's just get to make a perfect accompaniment to what we're going to be making. And this morning, we're making a very delicious lemon mint and grenadilla iced tea. Here to show us how we're going to make it is Chef Zozo. Hello. Zola. So yes. what are we making this morning for so our iced tea? So we're making a delicious drink to go along with our mm. treats that we're going to be making our cook along um, a little later. Um, so with the cook along stuff, you can serve regular tea yes. or regular coffee, but we thought we'd give you something different as well to, okay. to try with it. Okay, so let's Very start. Nice. Um, the first thing you do is get some hot water into a teapot mm -hmm. and brew some rooibos tea bags. So oh, I'm nice. going to do that right now. I've brewed some there for you as well. We've got some already prepared Exactly. Here. Nice. So I'm going to put a little bit of salati cast the snow in mine just to, to sweeten up sweeten it up a little okay cool i'm gonna put some of my salati low kilojoule sweetener in here and the nice thing about the sweetener is it's not a replacement for the salati sugar it's merely for those people who want a low kilojoule option especially during those hot summer days yeah you know so you just want a different option but you can go for either one either one exactly okay so i'm gonna let mine brew a little yours okay. has been brewing so here you i'll pop in an extra Have one over there because we yeah, are yeah gross. a touch of sweetness never never hurts okay so into the now cooled iced tea, we yeah. go with some lemon juice because of course it is a lemon nice. iced tea. In with some orange juice for a little extra natural sweetness. There we go. Then we go in with our beautiful stuff. Ooh. In with the slices of lemon. Already it's smelling so gorgeous. I'm getting the lemony freshness out of here. Some orange. Slices of orange going in. That's good. There we go. And then the granadilla. You, you, can, you call it granadilla, you can also call it passion fruit. I quite oh, like okay. the name passion fruit. I know. You know. A bit of passion in your life is never a bad thing. You've got a lot of passion in your life Oh, oh do I? Do I? <laughs> Pop that pulp in there. With <laughs> okay, so in to flavor it. Oh, that smells so good. There you go. So give it another little stir. Okay. And then all that's left is to pop some ice in to chill it just a little extra. All right. There we go. And then some fresh mint, because you know, fresh mint always adds a little freshness and it, it, makes, it gives everything a little perk. And everything together, oh, it's so zesty, I love it. Delicious. Refreshing, hey, it's refreshing. very refreshing. And to go with our scones and to go with our um, lemon meringue tarts that Ooh, we're gonna make a little gorgeous. later. Yes. Perfect. Give that a, one last little stir there. Look how beautiful it is. It's going it to is add beautiful. to your beautiful breakfast table or your, your tea time table. I'm going to pour a little bit for you to taste because I want you to tell us how it is. All right. There Here go. we go. This is our lemon, mint, that. and grenadilla iced tea over here. Mmm. Absolutely beautiful. Delicious. I think we can add a little bit more salati sweetener in okay, here, Okay, go for it. Okay, go just, for it. Just for good measure. While we do that, boys, what's happening in the kitchen? Yeah. Very Anne, huh? Yeah. Well, now that you have your lovely drink that you can have with your high tea, but later on, you'll need something to go with that, of course. Yeah. And we're going to be making some lovely, delicious treats, treats with our very first espresso live cook along happening just, just. Just now. I mean, we are, we are the countdown has begun. I'm a little bit mm -hmm. uh, nervous. I was saying earlier, I think you and I are going to be deputised as bakers today. <laughs> Half an hour straight down to the wire, live cook along. Yeah. So, okay. how are you feeling, Ooh, Caitlin? I'm, I'm a little bit nervous, but excited. It is exciting. <laughs> stuff, what does man? everyone at home need to get ready right now? Okay, so if you've joined us, we, mm -hmm. we've, what we've, we explained earlier is that we've weighed out everything. So, get your go through your recipe, weigh out your ingredients, have everything in little bowls. It will help you. Have your you. one egg in a little bowl. Okay. <laughs> have yeah. it it will help you keep up with us because, you know, Zola and I, you know, yeah, we go. Yeah, really shaking <laughs> the kitchen. Yeah, and then another thing, get all your equipment out. We've, we've got the equipment list on the website as well. Sure. We've got a pot of boiling water on the stove for Beautiful. our meringue. Bainbury. Yes. Nice. And we've got our oven preheated to 200 degrees, so make sure you've got that. 200. And remember that if you you haven't joined us before during the week, you can still cook scones with us. You so, can. Yeah. yeah, you can still join in the fun with the basics that you have at home flour, baking powder, eggs, milk. All of that. And speaking awesome. of joining us, we do we want to interact with you. This is the, what, what the Expresso Live Cook Along is all about. And right now, we have Estelle, who's joining us via Skype. Hello, Estelle. Hi, Estelle. Hi, how are you? Very, very good. Are you ready for this Live Cook Along? Well, I hope so. I've got everything measured, so we'll see how it goes. <laughs> I think it's going to go fantastically well. You're a pro. You know exactly how to do this. But everyone at home, please, you must join us. This is going to be so, so much and fun, now I've right? just got nervous, man. I wasn't nervous like 30 <laughs> seconds ago. Now I am. You're... And check it out. We'll also be engaging you on our Facebook page and our, our Twitter account as well. You can hashtag Espresso Cooks and uh, send us updates. Tell us what you think of it. It's going to happen just, just now. The Espresso Live Cook Along. We'll be right back after this break.
Indeed, a very exciting day as we boldly go where no breakfast show has ever gone before. The very first live TV cook-along right here on Expresso. Caitlin and Zola join us. Good morning, ladies. Are you ready? Morning, you guys? It's Thank been a you. test week. Up. We've been stretching. I'm exactly. ready for action. And of course, mm. you at home. This is all about cooking along with you and we're going to have a lot of fun making some lovely treats, right? We are, we are. So let's not mess around. Mm -hmm. Everyone's ready. Let's start. Okay, a quick hello to Estelle who joins us on Skype. Are you ready to rock and roll? <laughs> Brilliant. I love it already. I love she it already. She shares our sentiments. All right, Caitlin, let's kick this baby off. Okay, so we're going to start with the lemon meringue tart and we're okay. going to do the pastry first because that's got to bake. Okay, okay, cool. So for that, we've got some stalk bake over here that's cool. nice and soft and we're going to add that into the bowl. Great. And then we're going to add a quarter cup of caster sugar. Okay. You want to throw that in there for me? Mm -hmm. cool. And we're going to cream that together. A quarter cup, how many spoons would that be? Just one of those. Just one of these guys. Yeah. Cool. Quarter cup, let's stick with that. <laughs> yeah. um, and we're just going to mix that together. Um, you want your butter to be nice, or your stock margarine to be nice and soft, so you cool. can do this Keep quite quickly. Cool, temperature, nice. And then we've got some baking powder cool. and some salt. A little bit of there. salt to taste. Yep, all in. Da -da. This is a great recipe because it's literally just adding. No just mess, kind no of fuss. Soma khoi, yeah. Flour. Cool. And then if you'll add some egg for me. I will. Okay, so while they mix, yes. I just want to go through with everyone. Mm. Everyone will have downloaded our recipes from our website. Mm -hmm. And I just want to give people some tips on when you start baking and when you read a recipe. Okay. So the first thing you need to do is read the entire recipe through. Before okay. you even start. Before you even start. Also, make sure that you've got all your ingredients and they're prepped correct, correctly. Uh -huh. All right. Okay, so for example, here we ask for 125 mils oh. grated Parmesan cheese, yes. which means you need to grate the Parmesan cheese before you, you measure it. Okay. If it had said 125 mils Parmesan cheese, comma, grated, you would have had to weigh the Parmesan cheese, then grate it. Okay, so very, very important to make sure you read it through first before you go through. Exactly. Okay. Make sure you read everything, make sure you have all your ingredients, because there's nothing worse then starting a recipe and then midway you realise you don't have what you need. I think it's what the French call mise en place. Mise en, mise en place. place. Oh, oh, how fancy. Yeah. 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 What, what a chef. What a chef. Okay, it sounds I'll... going there. Look, Caitlin has been firing away here. We have got our, our dough, the ready um, mixture. Mm -hmm. It looks awesome. Already good enough to eat. Now we're going to be putting it into our pan, yes. our base for our meringue tarts. So the great thing about this recipe is there's no rolling pin, there's no fussing. We're just going to press it into our cake tarts. Just our, get your, your fingers dirty. So if you want to help me out here. press those in okay. nicely. Cool. So while you guys do that, let's catch up quickly with Estelle, Estelle who's joined us, who joins us from her home via Skype. Estelle, have you been following along with the recipe? Yes, I have. And it's very easy and I've measured everything beforehand, <laughs> having a cup of coffee ready. Oh, oh, oh nicely it. done. <laughs> And of course, if you are at home, you can engage us on social media, on Facebook and on Twitter. The hashtag on Twitter is Espresso Cooks. Tell us how you're experiencing it. Are you coping with the speed? Are we going too quickly, too slowly for you? How's it going again? How's oh. it going? Is it yeah, these so these are coming along done. very nicely and it is very simple. Oh, her style's faster than us. I know. She's, done. <laughs> She's I already chilling with us. a cup of coffee, I'm man. Are you kidding me? I'm feeling the pressure. Yeah. Jeez. Okay, this is looking great. Okay, should we pop them straight into the oven? So it doesn't have to be too, you know, perfect. Like perfect, perfect. Because this pastry good. is absolutely divine. So oh. it's all about the taste. That, right. And it is looking wonderful. Cool, perfect. ready to good rock job. and roll. Okay, Thank you very much. I'll pop that into our oven over here. And of course, remember, you can also give us a call, right? The number 0839133728. Tell us how how your recipe is coming along. Ladies, have we done well? We're, we're, we're past the first stage, so we're doing really well. I hope everyone is keeping I mean, up. Yeah, how long does that go into the oven for, by the way? That goes into the oven for about 10, 15 minutes, depending on the speed of your oven. Cool. Yeah. Just okay. check it every now and then. Are you timing it? Are you timing it? Time it, man. Oh, I don't want to let anything slip by. <laughs> Boom. Sort it. Okay. Well, if you've just joined us, this is Espresso's very first live TV cook-along. We've just made some lovely uh, um, our pastries for our meringue tarts. And if you've missed out on the recipe, take a look at this very quickly. Cream, butter and sugar. Then stir in the egg. Mix in dry ingredients to form a dough, then press into a tartan. Bake pastry for 20 minutes at 180 degrees. And the keyword for you to SMS to get those ingredients list is uh, cook to 33728. Ladies, wow. Okay, first, yeah, first, first little sure. bit of it has gone yeah. well, yeah. I think. <laughs> <laughs> I think Estella's still coping. She's doing well there. She's having coffee. What do you mean? I think it's a little bit unfair because I only have two and I think you have six hands. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, gang, uh, we're going to take a quick ad break. When we come back, the Espresso Life Cook Along continues right here on Espresso. Remember, hashtag Espresso Cooks. SMS is keyword cook to 3372. There's so many things to remember. I think we need to chill out. Somebody get me Someone some coffee. <laughs> Stalk. Best for baking. It's my feel good show. Welcome back to a very special Friday <laughs> edition of Expresso, the live cook along. The first time it's ever happened on South African breakfast TV, and so far it is going well, Caitlin. Zola, we have rocked our pastry. It's in the oven. Meringues on the way. Now we turn our attention to our scones. To our scones, exactly. <laughs> so let's not mess around. Let's get started. Okay. So into the bowl. Everyone keep up now. Um, <laughs> underlay, underlay. Flour into, this is already sieved, so okay. flour in there. A bit of baking powder. Lovely. Salt into the bowl. Fierce cooking, and then eh? I'm just Fierce gonna, baking sauce. <laughs> I'm gonna stir it all together, so this is our dry ingredients. Okay, cool. In with our butter. Oh, you're moving at a pace. Am I? Am I going fast? I'm yeah. hoping that as you are moving at this kind of pace that the people at home are keeping up. We've got uh, Estelle Pistorius joining us, uh, joining us via Skype, and of course, Kate Licorice on the line as well. Good morning to you, Kate. Good morning. Yeah. How are you doing? Hey, the vibe is on. How are you keeping up with our recipe so far? How's it going? I'm doing fine. My pastry's in the oven. I'm starting with the scones. Uh huh. Yeah, all good. Very easy. Very happy. Lovely. Okay. Lovely. Yeah, awesome. Estelle, how are you doing? I must say, I cheated a little. I started during the break. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. It's fine. It's being That's prepared right. beforehand. All right. So what's happening there? Okay. Huh? So I've rubbed um, the butter or the stalk bake into um, the flour and the dry ingredients. Rubbing so Eric. Clean my hands a little. Uh -huh. You're going to you, help you. You really pour. have learnt a lot through this. I have. Show, Rubbing right? and aerating is important in ensuring that your final product has that fluffiness in it and. That aeration is I, I, I feel so proud when he says things like mise en place. Oh, and he says aerating. Bambury. 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 Okay. So here we go. We've got an egg. Uh, an egg here. Yeah. Some milk. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to put the egg into the milk. Okay. There we go. In quite possibly the smallest mixing <laughs> container <laughs> that you could uh, find. I mean. So mixing my wet ingredients. So Lovely. you keep doing that. Okay. I'll do that for you. I'm going to go in with my flavouring. So in with a bit of oregano. Okay. Nice. There we go. The Italian herb. The Italian herb, also known as the pizza spice. Nice. In with some sun-dried tomato. Chopped and ready to go. Remember, guys, even if you don't have all the little nuanced ingredients, you can still make the basics yeah. Yeah. at home. Make yeah. your own scone now with us now live. And I must Let tell you, we've been getting some of the coolest pictures coming in I from know. homes. People cooking along with us. So if you do have pictures, send them to us that uh, you know at Espresso Show on Twitter. Hashtag Espresso Cooks. Our Facebook page is also available for you to do that. Okay, so in here frame. now I've got the Parmesan cheese in as well. I'm going to add the wet ingredients. I'm yes. just gonna do it slowly. Cool. cool. Here we okay, go. Okay. Nice and chunky. Here we go. So just add enough to bring it together to a dough. As yes. you can see, it's coming together. Here we go. All right. You can cut this with a knife Wh as what, well. What would that serve if you um, did that? That just also ensures that you don't overmix the mixture. Oh. So. Oh, because okay. you can actually overmix it. I, I forget these things. You can actually overmix your dough. Right? Of course, of course. Oh. Okay, there so I'm just going to bring it together with my hands. And Get in of, there. With the help of a bit of flour. Here Get in go. there, you Zulu cool. princess. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I love that you call me a princess now. It's just it's so fantastic. Yeah, I've easy with that, buddy. So easy mind. with that, bro. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're developing. Estelle, how are you doing? Are you, are you getting your, your dough in the right consistency? Yes, yes, I am. I'm just trying to roll it out nice and, you know, in two centimetres, and then we'll cut it out into... The, um, with the cookie cutter. Please show us on the screen what yours looks like. Where's the flower? We wanted to see flour in your <laughs> hair <laughs> flying all over the camera. kitchen. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, so we're, cu we're okay. cutting. So Cut. I'm cutting them out. So the staff said she's rolling hers out. Only a little bit, bro. Only a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Now we've got Kate Licorice on the line. Kate, how's it going your side? It's going very well. I'm a bit covered in flour at the moment. Good. My phone at my ear in my dressing gown. I don't <laughs> look quite as glamorous as a spell, I'm afraid, but I'm doing very well. Cool. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Pastry, and that's looking great. 
Awesome. Okay. Yeah, so it's all going well. Well done. On with a bit of egg wash. Okay, okay cool. Because you want to have that nice crispiness on top exactly. of it. Exactly. Oh. The beautiful colour. And then mm -hmm. straight into the oven and we're baking. Here we go. Lovely. Wow, guys. Dude, how's we the are ahead doing? of schedule. We've got about four minutes left on our pastries okay. there by the looks okay. of things. So this goes into our oven. Into the oven. Of course, that keyword cook. 233728 to get the ingredients list and the recipe sent to you, and yeah, there we go. And we of course, if it, if it doesn't fire off, you can always try it again, you know. We'll, we'll have this <laughs> online where you can follow it step by step. But okay. to bring you back up to speed, in case you did miss any of the parts yeah, yeah. of our process so far, let's do a quick little recap, bring you up to speed. Sift together flour, baking powder and salt. Rub in the butter. Add the parmesan, tomatoes and oregano. Whisk together the egg and milk. Cut liquids into dry ingredients to form a dough, then roll out. Cut scones out, then egg wash. Bake at 200 degrees for 10 to 12 minutes. The espresso cook-along continues, and we've got some beautiful pictures, as we said. Carmeny Pather, that we cook along with yes. uh, on our show, has sent us a beautiful picture of her pastry. Oh, and, oh, oh look at that, she's... Oh, wow! The Instagram that. <laughs> and then we have another one. Take a look at this beautiful picture. Oh, my word, from Carol Duvall. Oh, oh boy, too cream what, boy too creaming the butter and sugar oh. as espresso sugar. Oh, good Thank good you work. so, so much. That is so nice. That's fantastic. Yeah, that's very Maybe sweet, 10 man. years from now, we can have him on the show. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. So we're going to continue after the break, but before we, we go to the break, what, what do we need to get ready? Okay, so In you've, our got your, yeah, you've got your bain marie, bain marie nice. um, with your pot of simmering water, a, cl a clean bowl, make sure it's clean, and then we're going to separate our eggs during the ad break. So everybody start separating. Start yeah. separating, so when we come back, you're ready to go. Yolks in the one bowl, whites Whites in the other bowl. All right. Yolks, whites, yolks, As we whites. go into chorus like that, go into an ad break. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the show, the Expresso Live Cook Along taking place. Everyone across the country, or lots of people at least yeah, joining yeah. us, we get, we're getting country, pictures yeah. coming in right now. We got one from Olin Sterling, who hey. gave us a picture that says, Step one, done and dusted. Pastry is now baking in the oven. She's got an Espresso. Yeah, yeah, she's she's on our baking yeah. food yeah. 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 Lots of excitement. Okay, Represent. but we are back in the kitchen. Uh, yes. Caitlin, what yes. are you doing there? So uh, we've separated our eggs during the break, like Zola said, yep. and now we're whisking. So this is where your muscle power comes in. If you've got an electric hand whisk, yes. use that. Rock. Okay. It's going to save you a lot of effort. But I must say, you, I, I get so much, you gain so much appreciation for the meringue at the end of the day when you do it like uh -huh. this. Yeah. Exactly. Or the, what, the love into what it. What egg whites will become. Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing. It's exactly. actually magic. Yes. It is. It's, it's magical. It's oh. food magic. All right, so whisking so it. We're going the... to whisk it until soft peak stage, and then I'm going to ask Graham to add the cast of sugar. See, I would offer my help, but I know that you guys I'm, are such perfectionists. I know. I'm, I'm ready to take over the heavy duties when you need me, Caitlin. I really am. No, no, you're just standing there watching me. <laughs> breaking a sweat. Okay, I'm going to get the pastry out because the pastry should be ready. Okay, cool. Now, while we do that, let's check in with uh, Estelle, who joins us via Skype. How are your meringues looking? Well, I'm actually busy having a gym session right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming along quite, quite good. Okay. That's good, that's good. You gotta show us on the camera, we wanna see it. Come on, show us your scrumptious meringue. Oh, hey, there we oh, go. Oh, oh, nice. Look at that, it's beautiful. <laughs> Loving it, and of course, Kate Licorice also on the line with us. Kate, are you still with us? You know, I'm gonna be using my electric mixer. You guys have got very strong. Oh, sell out. Oh, oh, okay. Sell out. <laughs> good on you, good on you. Okay, so our pastries are <laughs> out. Our pastries just come out. We're gonna leave it to cool just a little mm -hmm. bit. Mm -hmm. cool. Um, while Caitlin finishes that meringue, Caitlin, up. there's a certain kind of consistency you're looking for with the meringue. Hey, what oh, is she's it? She's a trooper. She yeah, just won't. It's got to be glossy and it's got to hold its shape. So we still got a while, a bit to go. It's got to hold its shape. Uh, it's got to get to say what peak level. What's that? Soft peak. Soft yes. peak. Yes. Soft peak. I remember that <laughs> from somewhere. Okay, cool. So you're getting it. Ooh, wow, that is wow. looking delicious. I'm, I'm ready to take over, Caitlin. Really? Oh, they, the, the just call. Yeah. Control bring in the kitchen. There we go. I have no shame. No shame. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's good to have an assistant with you in the kitchen who can help you while you do that. Okay. I'm and of course, it's looking good. It's starting to get quite classy, huh? Mm -hmm. While we're just doing the ad break, right, we said uh, when you're making your pastries, Ooh, I know nice. we're a bit long way far from that, but um, it's important not to put too much egg in it. Yes. 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 Otherwise... So Graham was a little bit like, you know... Enthusiastic. Yeah, and he added it all before I could tell him to stop. Ah, 
you check. So our pastry is going to be a lot more short bready rather than short crust uh -huh. pastry. Okay. But it's still going to taste good, so it's fine. Oh, lovely, looks lovely good. stuff. So this what are you doing? You're walking around looking panicky. I think we're going to cook. You just ran away move. there. Move. You just yeah, ran away. I'm going to start filling our tarts. Okay, there this is go. looking beautifully That's glossy, stunning. hey? Is this right now? Perfect. Hey? Oh, that looks so nice. So at this point, you can put this in a piping bag with a star nozzle, pipe it beautifully just to get that professional look. Mm -hmm. um, or you can just spoon it on, and then we're going to blow torch it. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's a blow torch. Oh, Who's yeah. handling it? I want to handle the blow torch, please. You've Ching the right chow. Okay, here we go, you go, you go. Okay, rock, paper, scissors. Oh! <laughs> oh, man. Who won? Who won? I won. You won. <laughs> All right, okay, so I'm going to so turn it on. Um, if you don't have a blowtorch, you can just preheat your grill uh, when your scones are done. Don't yeah. do it while your scones are done. <laughs> and then you can just pop it under the grill for a few minutes just until the top caramelizes. Oh, yeah. Speaking yeah. of which, how are our scones doing? Our scones are, are doing fine, doing so fine. They've gone the distance. Mm. I'm going to just quickly start on the... Boom! Whoa, let's start blowtorching. Oh. All right, all right. I'll just, go, I'll, just, I'll just go easy on this one. I'll, I'll wait for you to finish first, I don't know. I feel kind of dangerous with this in my hand right now. <laughs> like a, an army grip, though. That's the thing. It's like, yeah. Come and meet my little friend there. Eh? Estelle, cool. how's it going, hun? Are you just about at the browning stage for your meringue? How are those little meringues looking? I've got my blowtorch and I've got the meringues whipped up. So I'm just going to put the lemon curd on and then I'm going to put the meringue on top. So. You are on track. Nice. Yeah. Kate, are you about ready to this? brown your meringues? It looks like I'm Kate's... Yes, I've just put the curtain. I'm just putting the meringue on top. I've got my oven on grill. I'm going to put it in the oven. I've sent you a picture of my lovely pastry on Twitter. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'm going to put it in the oven for about 30 minutes. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Awesome. All happy and well. Well done, because we have entered the home straight now. <laughs> and if you've just tuned in, uh, wow, yeah, you've missed out on a lot of fun. Yeah. But uh, of course, we've just made our, our meringues, we've just topped them with some curd and some meringue, and our, our scones as well. So much has happened. Let's just quickly catch up with the recipe. Where are we right now? Take a look. Take a step back. <laughs> Full cooled pastry with lemon curd, whisk egg whites vinegar and simmering water, then gradually whisk in sugar. Pipe meringue onto the curd and blowtorch or grill until golden. Ooh, okay, oh. it's been quite an exciting time. The very first live cook-along on South African television. It's been beautiful, haven't it? Hasn't it, it has, it's been great. Look, no. look what we accomplished. It, it feels like about 30 seconds, actually. <laughs> it's so quick, man. I hope you at home have been able to keep up. It's not too hectic, but I mean, look at that. Absolutely. Beautiful. We're going to be doing this again, obviously, right? Did not, this is not the oh, first. I think we yeah. must. Once we've done it once, it's just, we must. Okay. Absolutely. Well, we've been asking you to engage with us on uh, social media, and we've got a picture, a picture from Kate Licorice who sent us in. Check it out. Wow. Whoa! That's, beautiful. that's a beautiful wow. pastry done. Sexy yum, pastry yum. over there. Hashtag espresso. What is that? Cook -a cook a thon, she says. Espresso oh, cook I show. Like <laughs> you can hashtag espresso cooks all of those good things. Please keep sending those pictures and we want to see what you've been making at home. Your successes, yeah, your failures as well, even. <laughs> here come the sons. I'm gonna remove dun, dun, dun. this. Here. here we go. Oh, Put yeah. this down here. Need to clear oh, the kitchen. Wow. Lovely and warm. Oh, Smelling beautiful. absolutely delish. Oh, and in case you haven't got, everyone should invite people around for tea today. Because, I mean, who's going to no, eat this? No, that's the one ingredient thing we didn't put in his friends. friends. We made oh. a lovely refreshing yeah. drink. Now we have the lovely treats to go with it. This is, uh, it was perfect. Absolutely. Hey, ladies, well oh. done, man. Hi, five. Yes. Hey, to the team. Hi, five. Yes. Give me a knuckle, man. There we well go. Well done, there we go. sir. Speaking of which, I think there are some hungry people that are waiting for these treats. Shall man. we, ladies, head to the study and uh, let's go and show off our success. Story. Uh, go, 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 After go. You, Here we go. Guys, are you ready? Here Something we go. this way delicious <laughs> comes. Look at this. Look dun, at this. Dun, 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 absolutely amazing. Dun, 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 dun. So this is idea what you'll be doing. Bring your friends Bring along. Bring your friends. As you can see, the cameras are catching up with us. Oh. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> Thank you so much. Let's give you a place of oh, honor right Thank there. You. Oh, my goodness. Where do we start? I want to... May I taste one of these? Yes. Of course. Thank you so okay. much. I'm going to go into the... Dig in, dig in. Here you go. Oh, this tea smells good. What's in our tea here, Kaylin? Uh, this is lemon. We've got some orange. We've got some granadilla. Oh. Here we go, sir. I've got one, thank you. Oh, wow. This is so, oh, so that good. Oh, delicious. So, look, Caitlin, thank you very, very much. Pleasure. Really Estelle, Kate, guys yes, on the line, all of you who tuned in to take part in our live cook-along. Well done. Thank you so much, guys. I think we're going to make this a regular feature. Uh -huh. What a draw, man. And, of and course, we'll be seeing you again bright and early next week, Monday morning. Enjoy your weekend. Keep spreading the love. And just remember that we love you, South Yay. Africa. We want to go. Yay. Bye.